Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. I am a massive Harry Potter fan and one of the Harry Potter things that I collect is Harry Potter magazines and I thought it would be fun to show all of you my collection today. If you see that my tongue is a little purple, just warning you that it's because there's medication on my tongue, but just ignore my tongue, okay? I'm gonna show you all of the Harry Potter magazines that I own. So starting off, I have this movie magic Harry Potter one. This is one that I've probably read the most, I would say. So you can see it goes through the different movies. This one came out in 2011. Next up, I have one of the Noble Collection Harry Potter magazines. I sort of collect these with my collection, even though they're technically free and really easy to get. This was the Holiday 2019 edition, and it just shows you different like Harry Potter merch that you can buy from the Noble Collection. Next up, I have this National Geographic Kids one. This one came out in August 2011, and as you can see, there is Harry Potter content in here. I wrote on this. I wish I did not write on this, but you know, when you're a kid, you do what you do that you think is cool. There's four pages of Harry Potter content in this National Geographic Kids magazine. Bam. Next up, I have another National Geographic Kids magazine. This one was from 2010 in November, and it is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1. So let's see if I can open it up and find the information again. This one is only a three page spread, but as being that I'm a massive Harry Potter collector, I am keeping this one. And I actually have two of that National Geographic Kids one. We have a National Geographic Kids Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince one. This one came out in August of 2009. And I've read this one so much that it's falling apart, unfortunately. But it has a spread there, and it has four pages in total. See, it's falling apart. That's sad. This isn't a magazine, but I have it in with my Harry Potter magazine, so I'm gonna include it. This is a Oregonian Parade newspaper, and this was from 2010. It says Harry Potter's Magical New World. This was from when the Harry Potter section in Universal Studios, just the like Hogwarts section, opened in 2010 in Universal Studios Orlando. And I actually went to it opening year, so this is part of the reason why I have this one. I have this Special Newsweek edition. This one came out in 2019. I have this one, which came out in 2019 as well. And this is the back of that one. Next up, I have this 2012 Sky Mall magazine that was on airplanes. And they used to sell Harry Potter stuff in the airplane magazines. So I got this one in 2012. And we have this Lego Club magazine and it has some Harry Potter content in it. This was from 2011, so if you're looking for old Lego Club editions to collect the ones that mention Harry Potter in it, look for the 2010 to 2011 era. Not all of that from that era has Harry Potter content in it, but that's when a ton of Harry Potter Lego kits were coming out. Next up we have a National Geographic Kids Halloween edition, and it has a Harry Potter horse in it. Then we have this magazine from 2016, which is a fall movie preview entertainment magazine for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. We have this one from last year. We have this Newsweek one from 2018. Not sure what year this was from. This was an anniversary spotlight collector's edition. If you want to know where to get these magazines, the National Geographic Kids and the Lego Club ones were from a subscription and I just kept the ones that were Harry Potter themed. I didn't get the subscription because it was Harry Potter themed, but because, like, when I was a kid, people would, like, gift me magazine subscriptions. Do people still do that anymore? I have no clue. And then all these other ones, like this Time Special Edition one that was from 2017, these other ones were from grocery stores like Fred Meyers, Safeway, Walgreens. Although I don't think Fred Meyers is everywhere in the country, I think it's Kroger's elsewhere. But basically any grocery store with a display stand will often have magazines and just check them all every time that you're there and you'll be able to find Harry Potter ones. Oh, and also Barnes & Noble has a good magazine collection. This one is from 2019. And also it says on the magazine's display until 1-7-19. It says a different date for each one, as long as it's not a subscription. And just like... Keep in mind that that's how long you can get it in store, so don't delay on getting them, because they won't be there forever. I have one more to show all of you, and then I have to run downstairs to grab the other one that I have. I swear I have some more Noble Collection ones elsewhere, but my parents might have tossed them out because they were like, oh, it's just advertisements. I don't know. Hopefully I have some elsewhere in the house, but I have one more Collector's Edition one that I know where it is. But this one, the final one that I have up here, is... This one from 2010, 
it is another Lego magazine, and bam! I have all of the 2010 to 2011 Harry Potter Lego kits. Once I like get my collection all organized, because currently my Lego collection is a mess, I will do a Lego collection video because I have almost all of the 2017 to 2020 releases. Though it might start coming out in 2018 or 19. I forget when they start doing the newest Harry Potter Legos. And then I have all of the 2010 to 2011 collection of Harry Potter Legos as well as some older kits. So I think that would be a fun video to do in the future. I don't know. Let me go grab the final magazine that is downstairs. Here's the final one in my Harry Potter magazine collection. This is the anniversary spotlight one from 2020 and this is on the back. My cousins who live in California and one lives in a different state I think, they sent me this. So that was all for my Harry Potter magazine collection. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I also wanted to show you something that you need to do if you collect magazines I didn't know about until recently. You can get magazine covers and it will keep your magazine in good shape. I didn't know that clearly when I was younger so some of them are in really bad shape. But now I'm collecting the little cover things so that I can keep them all safe and good to go. I'm going to create a Harry Potter playlist with all my Harry Potter videos. So if you want to just see strictly my Harry Potter videos, you can watch them all. That playlist will be linked down in the description below. So that is all for today. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see all of you in my next video. Goodbye!